Welcome to the video for the, sec uh, the third sorry, Deacon in Taurus, the one from uh, 11 May up to 20 of May, and the one that has a subrural Saturn. The god of the harvest is reliable, predictable, and deliberate. Slow and purposeful, Saturn methodically assists in the completion of one cycle so a new cycle may begin. Often compared to the personification of death, Saturn swiftly delivers a blow when he believes it to be time for a change. In doing so, Saturn provides room for a new begin to flourish. He is also the ruler of time, of transition, limitation, responsible for the passing of time, for providing restriction and guidance, for establishing rules and for building an organizational framework. All of these concepts assist with growth within a structure, creativity within restraint, and a deeper understanding of the virtue of temperance. So this is what the energy of Saturn brings to Taurus. And the card that is associated with this period, the Seven of Pentacles, it's also called the Lord of Success Unfulfilled. Because we see here somebody who's um, still hard uh, working for the future success. He's taking care of the grapes, making choices, what has to go away, what it can stay. And if we look at the card, let's say from behind, see like he's uh, following a dream and then he works hard with patience for this dream and after we can see how he uh, collects one of the results so if he had enough patience for the seeds for the results to grow then he can uh, collect the harvest so that's mainly the message of this card it's about a period of uh, pause when you have to reflect realizing that every real success means a lot of discipline, a long period to work. In order to get good harvest, you need to invest on a long term um, period. So for that, we need determination and perseverance. And this is what Saturn brings here. Force us to learn self-discipline. And he's the cosmic teacher that uh, doesn't accept excuses. He is actually here to teach us lesson and um, we know that he needs like 30 years to orbit the sun so if you have Saturn in Taurus the Saturn returns happens like two or three times in a lifetime and it also shows the change from youth to mature and to elder and it's always a kind of test of strength if you are uh, strong enough to move to the next um, period of 30 years if you know enough or learn enough if you are prepared be aware in a way what is really important for you what are the results that you want to achieve and even if you did everything with the best intention you realize that um, no result means that you have to change the strategy and that's a good time to do it when you have the Saturn uh, return and of course, it's a number seven, so that's very much focusing on um, results and on what is best for you. And if we look at um, this uh, card with the seven of pentacles, it's also associated with um, a nice uh, rhyme. The fruit is sweeter than the seed, but it takes so long to grow. Still, if I eat the seed right now, the fruit I'll never know. So very much about having patience and it's also a lot about accepting the cycles of nature that working together with with the nature because we have this uh, kind of buffalo here. I also collect this card, uh, the white buffalo woman who's very much about uh, hopeful heart and uh, all prophecies about uh, what it means to see this uh, white buffalo that is bringing important change in somebody, somebody's life 
and then we have from the priestess light this also this beautiful card about achievement which means effort plus intention and the affirmation for this card we have a 44 and a 49 so it can be in a way related to the second uh, period of uh, maturity with Saturn return. I create clear intention and put patient effort into my goals. I bring sacred prayers to my personal pursuit every day. This is very much about the patient and the self-discipline and of course the purpose, very much a theme for this seven of uh, pentacles. Now if we look at another um, card, of course we see how this uh, plant is growing so about the cycles of the nature and we have here the green color which is associated with the heart chakra and in the same way uh, remember we also saw here that there are also new plants coming and sometimes we have to give up the maybe the old plants and start using the fruits and then let some seeds for a future plant that's always uh, a choice that we have to make in our case finding new focus new intention has to be done with the heart and what feels good in our heart so I um, look for the card from the chakra deck and then for the heart I got this card of gossip which is about a lady who was very eccentric and she was also very kind always had like a very uh, strange uh, scars and she was in a way the topic of the gossip in town but only after she died people uh, saw how beautiful paintings she had in her house and um, that she was an extraordinary artist and everything she did she did with love she painted uh, the scenes of the town with a lot of love so they realized they didn't really know her they didn't really appreciate uh, her love for the place where she was so this is a card about um, valuing our relationship you can let go but you cannot give up on a relation with somebody you think of every day what do we resist maybe in a way where do we have misunderstanding or judgments that doesn't allow us to appreciate enough the efforts or the dreams of uh, other uh, people something that is seven of uh, pentacles especially with uh, Saturn in Taurus made us think it's like a kind of restriction we know we have the rings of Saturn and then in um, another tarot deck we have this seven of pentacles like a, like a spider you know that you need perseverance and you need a lot of effort and also of course patience to to build a real web of connections and to real get the skills you you need and with this spider in mind I found a card from the green wheel oracle the card of the spider represents the web of connectedness drawing this card is a reminder that everything you do resonates through the web and can be felt elsewhere it can be a call to cut through the chatter, avoid assumption about what you think you hear and listen deeply to what is really being said. I see it connected somehow with this um, gossip. Know people for who they really are. Maybe not the words they are saying, but try to see the good in them, but also the, the real spirit, the, maybe the intention behind the actions. And I have another spider card here, which in uh, this animal wisdom tarot is the will of fortune. The spider as a guardian of sacred symbols, ancient language and the primordial design of creation, he spins a strong yet delicate web reminding us that things are not always as they seem. Linking thread to silken thread in intricate patterns, spider anchor us in a net of timeless wisdom while revealing the many direction our journey may take. We need the patience of a spider to build up even our life. And with this last uh, card here from another deck, so we see a bird who is preparing her nest, which uh, brings another very important element of this seven of pentacles. All our action have to be connected with the cycles of nature and also understanding that we cannot rush mother nature. And interesting enough in um, 
other decks seven of pentacles it's called seven of trees and even seven of earth which is means that seeds are well planted a temporary pause in action unnecessary worry we do not have the fruit yet but we planted the seeds and we just need to trust nature and um, the cycles and we see here even in this seven of trees like all these people who are uh, doing their uh, business because we have to remember we are in Taurus it's also about security even financial security and everything it's very well settled and this beautiful trees here that's why it's called the seven of trees are uh, somehow protecting this stability here but in all in both cards we see the oak tree and in the Celtic tree oracle number seven the card number seven and for the D I think it's two year but I'm not sure it's the oak because he grows uh, slow but it's sure so again it makes the point that you need time a long time to build something that will survive over years decades and maybe even centuries and for the herb, uh, herb crafters uh, tarot we also have a seven of earth and again the oak and the message is live by the roots of the earth work slowly and steadily toward your goal plan for the generation to come knowing nature is key to knowing yourself like the oak you have worked hard and gather your rewards when it is time to build your future listen for the call of the earth Oaks grow only about one foot per year. Be patient. Trust your vision to manifest in its own time. Have faith in your work. The fruits of your labor will last beyond your lifetime. Look to the pace of nature for guidance. The seasons will give you direction. I think this is also a very uh, beautiful uh, association of the seven of pentacles with oak. Everything you do has the chance to grow solid and to be uh, durable for this period of time to realize that we cannot always just grow and grow and grow we also need to um, have these moments in which we just evaluate and uh, have a patient trust that the results are uh, coming and our work our love will all uh, bring the harvest that we are looking for and I'm going to do a reading for somebody with uh, Saturn in um, Taurus or somebody born in this uh, period. So let's see which number. We have number four. So these cards can be for somebody who has Saturn in Taurus in uh, the fourth house. The life path number four or maybe born in uh, on 13 may which will uh, give four so the message it is for the practical part limits imposed resulting from the productivity of your home base or family for the mental part caution regarding the practicality of giving support of support and spiritual message the maturity that brings resources to maintain what makes you feel secure. Yes, that's very much Taurus and then Saturn in uh, Taurus. Thank you for watching.